I have visions, flashbacks to the past and the future, with brief memories and glimpses of who I am. Hopefully one day I will have the answers I'm looking for. Some people struggle with their identity. It's not my problem, because I don't have one. I wake up every day in a different part of the city, not knowing how I got there. But knowing there's a reason why. Excuse me, miss. No, what? Can I ask you a personal question? Can you spare some change? Were you gonna jump? No, of course not. I'm up here doing yoga. Why would you wanna jump? Yeah, I mean, I get it, but a woman as attractive as you are with so much to live for, why would you want to end your life like this? You know nothing about me. No, I don't. But I'm sure things aren't that bad. The cancer is spread very aggressively. You only really have about three months to live. I'm so sorry. I know things can't be that bad that you want to jump off a 50-foot bridge. Hey, look at me. I live on the streets, and I'm not jumping off any bridges. It is a long way down there. And when you hit the ground, spat! You still may not die. I knew a guy who didn't die, and he ended up in a wheelchair with a neck brace and a body cast for the rest of his life. Then it was this other guy. This other guy was a complete vegetable. He had tubes in and out and of his wazoo. God! Who makes you an expert? Enough already! I mean, what, you, you're gonna stand here and give me advice? Why don't you start by helping yourself? I'm doing just fine. I don't pay rent, insurance, taxes, car payment, or gas. God, if I had to pay gas prices, I'd kill myself. Sorry. No offense. None taken. OK, can I ask you a personal question? How does somebody end up on the streets? Just lucky, I guess. No, seriously. How do you get to pushing around a shopping cart? Actually, I don't remember. 
All I remember is waking up in a cardboard box and a tattoo of a leprechaun on my ass. Obviously, it didn't come with a pot of gold. My name's Annie. What's yours? I wish I, uh, wish I knew. You know what? You are lucky. What I would do to forget about everything. My dog. My cheating husband. And now, stage three cancer. <laughs> I'm just done. It's like one thing after the next, and it doesn't matter. Oh, sorry. Listen, I really appreciate you listening, okay? You're the first guy that has done it in a long time. I got an idea. Let's go together. Oh, well, we'll hold hands and we'll jump. This way we can keep each other company when we're down at the hospital on the life support. If we survive. You're, you're insane. It's coming from a woman who's just about to jump off a 50-foot bridge. I may not have much. But I'm grateful for what I have. Life is the most valuable, Eddie. I appreciate it. You know, this talk that we had. And I really appreciate You're not going to change my mind. I made up my mind, so... I'm good. Wait, can I ask you one last question? If you're gonna kill yourself and I can't talk you out of it, can you at least have sex with me before you jump? Yeah, you know, the old one, two before the peephole. No! Oh my God! Are you kidding me? After all that, that's what you want? You're just like all the other guys. There is no way in hell that I would ever have sex with you. I'll just catch up with you on the bottom. You got nothing to live for, so jump! You're crazy, perverted, sick! Do it! Screw you! Thanks, Sally. This is Phillips. The jumper is off the bridge. Repeat. The jumper is off the bridge. Good work, John. You saved another one. You're a real hero. I wake up every day in a different part of the city. Not knowing how I got there, but knowing there's a reason why. I may not know who I am, but I know what I have to do today. Every new beginning starts with the end. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a personal question? 